If you like the Dollar Tree DIYs and Shabby Chic, this video is for you. I have never found a pumpkin at a thrift store, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up three of these pumpkins. They're $1.50 here in Canada, $1.50 each, still a really good deal. But I wanted to add some, you know, my own style to them. I grabbed this mold. That's the Fleur de Lis with the air dried clay. And we're going to attach some leaves. We're going to attach some acorns. We're going to make this really, really cute. I'm using the construction adhesive because it is extremely strong and it sticks instantly. These will not slide off. So, construction adhesive is my go-to when I'm working with clay. I wanted to add a little height to the stem and a little thickness, so I just took some air dry clay, I formed it on there, and then I put the glue inside, used my fingers, used a little stick. Just keep your hands slightly moist, that will help when you are shaping the stem. All the products that I'm going to be using today will be listed in a single link below this video. Pumpkin number two in this trio is we're going to put fall on it. Now when you are working with a mold and its letters, it could slightly be difficult if you're not used to it. All you do is when you see here, I pull it over and then let the mold sort of fall out. Sometimes you even have to use your finger just to gently pull it. But honestly, just let it come out. You can always reshape it. It's a slight learning curve, but it is so worth it. Did you guess it? Did you guess that I was going to paint these pumpkins pink? Yes, we are having some pink pumpkins. Okay, it's no secret that I love pink. I do love other colors, but I do love pink. Now, I didn't want a pink stamp. So I'm using Dark and Decrepit, which is like a stain. It's water base. It's really good stuff. Anyway, a link will be below. This stuff is awesome. It's going to give me the look of the brown, but when I wipe it back, you're gonna see the bit of the pink. You'll see, it's really good. I'm taking a baby wipe, and I'm gonna wipe it all back now. It's like the glaze phase. Do you remember when we glazed everything? Well, this is like it, but even better. So it makes it look distressed, which you know I like. Now we're going to take these pumpkins. We're just gonna keep adding to it. Um, so stay tuned. These really turn out cute. But do you see there, as I remove it, it looks chippy and old. I just love it. Do you love this? Have you ever had a pink pumpkin before? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I know you want to get to seeing how this looks, so I'm not going to bore you with watching the third pumpkin. It's basically the same as the first two, just a little different. Anyways, I invite you to watch to the end because we play a little game with an emoji. Stay tuned. The last thing that I'm going to do with this is add a little bit of gold. Gold and pink go together so good, so good. And this is how I styled them. This one is also from the Dollar Tree. All I did was paint it white. I used white swan. You know me, I always take a baby wipe and I wipe some back just to bring some of that orange color back. Clear wax to seal it. I use a little bit of dark and decrepit to give it some shadowing. This is how it looks now. Now I know you have some yarn hanging around, so I'm gonna show you how to make a pom-pom pumpkin. 
I'm using this pom-pom maker that I got from Michaels. You can make them out of cardboard. Wrap around both sides. You're going to cut through. And then once you've cut through that, you're going to tie it. You're going to take a little bit of yarn or string. I just used the yarn. You're going to tie it in a double knot, nice and tight, the sides out, pop it out, and now you've got this really cute pom-pom. And you're going to trim it into the shape of a pumpkin. Now don't overthink this. All I did was trim the bottom, trim the top, and made more of an oval shape. Now once we add the tops, it is going to push down a little bit, so don't worry about that. I'm going to show you three different stems. The first one is cinnamon sticks. The second one is cut up sticks from the backyard. And then the third one is door handles, which I think might be my favorite. You just glue them all on, push it down, and then I used some lace, some ribbon, just tie a little bow on that, and this is how they look now. I grabbed these also from the Dollar Tree and then I'm adding a little bit of salt wash to my paint. This is really going to help it stick to the very slippery surface. Once those were dry, I used the vintage pink, the same as the pumpkins, and added that to the bottom. Then we're going to add a little bit of dark and decrepit, just to give it a little bit of shading. And this is how they turned out. If you are finding value in this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. I had to have at least one thrift flip in this video. This frame was a dollar, and I'm going to paint over this so I hot glued the glass so it wouldn't slide around. I'm using the horse and hound mold, and on the corner there it has the acorns with the leaves attached. Once that was glued on, I painted it in white swan. And I distressed it to bring back some of that gold and that green to come through the frame. I'm going to seal it with clear wax. Now what you did not see me do is paint the acorns and the leaves all pink. I used the vintage pink, the same color as the pumpkins. We're going to put some black wax on this so it's really important to get that clear wax all in the nooks and crannies. I'm going to use just a little bit of black wax. We're going to put it on and wipe it off. If you see here, I did not put it over the whole frame, just on the clay part. You want to make sure that your clay is dry before you paint it, seal it, do anything to it. This is how the frame looks now. There are two videos on the screen right now that I invite you to watch either one of them if you love shabby chic and pink. The emoji today is a pumpkin. Of course, it's a pumpkin. Drop that pumpkin below in the comments. That lets me know that it was you that watched this video all the way to the end. <laughs>